the volume's a little low in the back, the speakers are not. So there's kind of a sound problem back there. Anyway, I was glad to see uh, Representative Nelson Pearson because I remembered. Oh, oh, everybody knows that I'm West Lund. So um, I was, do, do I get my time back? Um, <laughs> I was glad to see Representative Nels Pearson here again because uh, I remember the point that I was making the other month about uh, the marijuana law. In fact, uh, now students are not allowed to be told by their teachers that THC and drugs are a bad idea because you know now marijuana is a business. So um, I was hoping to talk about uh, an experience I had observing uh, our election process here in Rochester. First of all, it was a long period of time and people didn't really know that we were inside an election cycle. And then as I was driving to work on a Saturday morning, I drove by one of these community gatherings where free t-shirts were being given out and it was some kind of fireman's event at an elementary school. There's lots of free stuff. And I want, you know, free pens, free notebooks, it's all free, right? And I wanna remind you that you're spending other people's money. There's no such thing as free, it's not free. It comes out of my pocket, comes out of my taxes. And I, um, you, you're, you're bribing the people of Rochester with their own money when you're rolling out these DMC initiatives, Mayor Norton sits on the board, and go ahead and smirk, sits on the board of DMC, which I think is a conflict of interest. And she ought to be uh, forthcoming with her uh, relationship with DMC, longstanding and other nonprofits in Rochester. So uh, there's the Rochester thing on Saturday where there was free swag. You get cups, you get food, you get keychains, you get shoes at some of these events that are going on. You get free shoes, you get t-shirts. You're, you're, you're buying it with other people's money and that does not make you generous. It makes you, it doesn't make you a Robin Hood. It makes you, you be Robin the Hood is what you're doing, because you're paying people back with their own money. It reminds me of Mexican style politics or politics of a third world city or state, a banana republic where the big chief comes to the town and starts handing cash money hero payouts out of the back of his limousine. And also I don't appreciate the weaponization of Christianity and the weaponization of, of Jesus in a cynical attempt to deploy religiosity as a means for political ends. And I think that kind of thing has to stop because we ought to be looking at Lutheran social services and Catholic charities and the church world service. They all should be audited for what they did to the state of Minnesota. Because after all, right now, what do we have? We have the feeding our future fraud in Rochester. Four people were indicted by the United States Department of Justice. $250 million stolen from our money, our taxpayer money. You don't need any more money from my pocket. You need to spend wisely the money that has been given to this society from my pocket. And you should thank me, sir. The religiosity of saying, oh, what would Jesus do? Don't speak on behalf of Jesus. I certainly don't. But in my reading of that narrative, if you treat it as a narrative, flipping over some tables and whipping some people is an option. We've had enough. I sat in that lecture today from Madam Chow over here. I happen to know that uh, Somalis are not allowed to emigrate to Kenya, last I checked. Now maybe that's changed, but we are a welcoming community. We don't need to be lectured by, this is Agenda 21. You should tell the people of Rochester what they're paying for, because the, the feeding our future fraud, the daycare scandal, the transportation scandal, the adult daycare scandal, the elder abuse scandals, money is clearly not the solution. More money is not the solution. Read Agenda 21, everybody, because this is what they're doing. Thank you.